Welcome back, you beautiful people. In mountain biking, the mixed wheel side has been offered to the public off and on for over 35 years. A bit like my new Proof Mega right in front of me. Mixed wheel size, 29, 27.5. But a little history lesson for you, okay? The idea of mixed wheel sizes goes back to the 1800s, the old penny farthing, which had a five foot front wheel mixed with a, a 20 inch ish rear. Now I remember this one vividly and back in 2003 Specialized released their big hit downhill bike and that was a mixed wheel size 26 front 24 rear right enough history let's get down to business mullet so I'm starting to dislike the name mullet yes I get it party up back business up front but in the mountain biking world it's totally wrong it should look like this shouldn't it yeah there you go 29 up front 27.5 on the rear. Now with that said, if you were to make a mullet bike, this is what it would look like. Short up front, long up back. 27, 29. Which got me thinking, how extreme can we go with the reverse mullet? Or mullet? Oh, let's find out. Oh, oh. Whoa. We're gonna put these through their paces. So how extreme are we gonna go? So a few challenges. We're gonna do a hill climb, which is right now, right there. We're gonna do some bike parky burmies, some jump stuff, some schwalpy stuff. We're gonna do a rough descent. We're gonna do some pedaling and some single track. And we are gonna see which one's the best. First up is the 27.5 hill climb challenge. I feel like it's gonna be better. Obviously, because the front end's low and sit into it and go. So I'll get up to that first telegraph pole and see how it goes. So far, feels all right, feels normal. Front's not lifting as much for the 29er. It's all right, feels okay. Oh, that's actually quite steep. That is quite steep, depending on how many wheels I've got. I'm gonna do that that many times, anyway. If I find, not much difference. Let's, let's go down some rough stuff because we're at the top-ish. Right, visually it does, look, it does look smaller, doesn't it? 27, 29, anyway, rough stuff. I feel like it's not gonna be that much difference. Yes, the geometry is gonna be a little bit steeper and lower because it's smaller. Anyway, let's bomb down here. Okay, the rough. Uh, you know, I said there wasn't much difference. There is. The front end is, it dives so much more. My forks are actually set up perfectly to the 29er, but because the front wheel is way smaller, I'm diving so much and I'm actually bottoming out. And that is just the start. So I'm gonna have to add more pressure. Anyway, done some rough, nice and warm, very hot out. Skill zone. There's some jumps, there's some turns. I want to see what it feels like. Schwalping, you know what I said, blah, blah, blah. Dropping it. So verdict on this it is low, like I said, up the top in the skill zone and the, you know, in the berms and that. My pedals are quite close to the floor, clipped twice, which is not a good start. Not a good start. 
Let's go back to Mullet Man, see what else we've got. Does someone say Mullet Mechanic, aka Mel McCann? All right, what comes before 27.5? 26, dude. <laughs> 26 ain't dead. Stick that in there. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. This guy's gonna be so hang tan, man. Woo! <laughs> okay. We've come to the climb. It's low. Feels like I'm riding like this, obviously. So it's perfect for going up hills, right? So let's do this hill climb. Challenge. Three, two, one, up ping. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'm sat kind of level. Front's not lifting. It's actually, it's hard work, obviously, because you're climbing a steep hill, but you can get the power down to the rear really good. I say that's better than the 29er, better than the 27.5. So let's go and ride some rough stuff, which I feel like is not going to be better. Do I bring back memories? Look at that little 26 inch wheel. Slope style dirt jump days anyway. Look at the mud clearance, just, just a handful. Look at that. So much mud clearance there. Anyway, it looks weird on this. Let's ride this rough. I feel like I'm gonna be hanging off the bag, the bag, hanging off the back for dear life. Oh my God! Oh my goodness me. 26 shouldn't be on my bike. <laughs> that, that there was quite scary. I just felt like I was hanging off the back constantly. I bottomed out my forks a few, number of times. Weirdly, I didn't hit my pedals on the floor. I'd hit more so on the 27, because I didn't expect it. But now I expect it, I kind of eliminated it. Anyway, skill zone, jumps, turns. Let's go. And for those that were commenting on, like, oh, his tires is too soft on the rear. It was. I've just pumped it up. So. <laughs> Oh man, jumps feels weird. The front just dives in, the back's up and you're going up like this. So you're like throwing yourself like that and it feels like you're going over the bars. Oh, I didn't like that. Didn't like that. Again, not much in it. Climbing is better. Going down the hill, it's just, I feel like I was over the back a lot. I bottomed out my forks. I didn't hit my cranks, didn't, weird. Maybe because I know it's low. Anyway, let's go and see uh, the uh, the Malmacan. 24 inch, dude! Look at it! It's getting ridiculous, man! So what you can see here, man, is a spoon 24 inch spank wheel and spank hub with a booster set going on for boost mode, man. This guy's got so much mad clearance, it's unreal. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go ride some horrible rough stuff. But first, the climb. Look at that, geometry looks pretty bang on. Going up a hill, I guess going down is going to be even worse. But for the climb, perfect. <sighs> Three, two, one, up in. Oh yes, the ultimate climbing rig. 
Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, still tough though. I'm not gonna lie. It's still tough. Not one bit of tire lift of that. 20%, I think it's 35%. To the top. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Apart from being the front tire being on backwards, that felt all right. So we're gonna hit GBU, lower section. It's got a horrible drop in it. And it's nicknamed Dave Genvy drop. If you know, you know. Anyway, dropping in. Let's hope we don't do a Dave Genvy. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Dave Genvy drop. Dave Genvy drop. Front wheels all over the place. Oh, the heavens have opened. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, wet roots. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. The heavens have opened. It's got super greasy on these. Look at them slimy, slithery roots right there. 24 inch wheel. It's on backwards. Oh, man. Let's go back down this trail here because there's a nice big hip. Oh my goodness me. I don't know how it sucks out all your speed. It's ridiculous. Again, I'm way over the back end. The front feels so twitchy. Oh. Do you reckon Mal McCann has got a smaller one? Penny farthing rear wheel here, dude. 20 inch. Relive your childhood, dude. Get this on there. <laughs> Dude, now you're definitely gonna go over the bars, yeah. Look at that. Have fun on that one, dog. Mel McCann. Cam. <sighs> Up in. Well, I'm actually stood bolt upright. Don't have to pull on the bars as much to keep the front down. It's actually climbing all right. I reckon an e-bike with a tiny front wheel will be the ultimate climbing. Oh no, it's wet. Don't, don't. It's still hard though, it's still hard. It actually, it climbs like an absolute monster, but it's slow. The rolling is just non-existent, but we're nearly at the top, so let's go down some horrible jank. Uh, this, my friends, is the real mullet. 29, long hair. 20, short hair. Business party. That is a real mullet. Now, if you want to argue with me, do in the comment section down below. On that note, let's hit GBU again. GBU is a three dot. So essentially it is the hardest trail at the Forest of Dean. So that is essentially a black trail. Did on the 24, can the 20 get down? Again, we've got that drop to encounter and some rough.
flat neck. You cannot push the front end. I tried to push the front end over there and it literally went like this. I thought I was a goner, absolute goner. I was on complete edge the whole way down that. It was, uh, it was, it was actually really horrible. I, I don't recommend it at all. It's, it's pumped up really hard and it literally just lost grip right there. Oh, my heart is at, what is it, 120? <laughs> and I've just dropped in just from there. Oh my goodness me. Anyway, thank you very much. Hang on a minute, what's going on? I'm getting a phone call. <sighs> from Mel McCann. Hey dude, what's going on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. I thought that was the end. I'll be back in a bit. Dude, what now? Dude, I got just the wheel for you, man. <laughs> Get your bike here, dude. Oh my goodness me. I think he's outdone himself right here. Look at the state of this little guy. <laughs> this is a 12 inch custom build spank hub on a 12 inch rim. Look, the disc is the same size as the rim itself. The tire has no grip. The heavens have opened. I think we should do a hill climb challenge. Let's go and try that. Because I think it's going to be brilliant at it. Look at the state of it. <laughs> I don't need grip on the front. I just need to not hit my feet on the floor. But actually, <laughs> it's all right. Oh man, look at it. It's climbing. Getting grip on the back wheel. Uh-oh, my feet are hitting the floor. Uh-oh, oh, it's a bit muddy. I'm doing it though. I'm doing it. <laughs> the ultimate climbing bike. Oh. Okay. I keep spinning out. I keep spinning out. I did it. We made it. Look at that. Oh. And to be honest, not much energy. I felt composed, not far over the back, still getting weight down. I wheel spun all the way up there. Ah, oh, we're at the top where I do not want to be. Oh my gosh. Oh. Weirdly how quick I get used to it. I'm a strange human. How the brain works and adapts like so quick when you chuck yourself in the deep end. Saying that, I'm not quite in the deep end. Should we go down there? There's some rough. I don't know why I'm saying that, because I hate roots, especially when they're wet. Let's go down there. Oh, man, where's my stunt double? I survived. I went through the smoothest I could, but I was like hitting pedals. I was hitting my BB up the top. I'm done with the rough, but I think there's one challenge which I haven't done on the bike. It's uh, it's over there. Well, there we go. Reverse mullet with a bit of history in there. 
This is what a mallet is in the fashion industry. Short up front, long out back. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, entertaining slash historical slash technical slash stupidity video. Give us a thumbs up, like, and if you want to see some more ridiculous stuff, please let us know in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. See ya.